You want to know how to save, use and organize car setups on iRacing? Then you better stay with me because this is going to make your life much easier. My name is Max Paneke and I am your iRacing guardian. Using files for iRacing is pretty easy once you know how it works, so let's just jump right into it. All the files you need will be stored directly on your PC and you can have access to them whenever you want. Just one small side note, you can watch me racing live on Twitch up to three times a week and I would love if you join me the next time. The link is in the description down below. So. Let me show you where to find everything you need to work properly with iRacing. You want to click on your Explorer on Windows and then head over to your documents. And here you will see a folder called iRacing. This is the directory where all the files such as setups, lab files, panes, telemetry and so on are stored. So you want to go ahead and double click it so that all the folders I just mentioned will show up. And the two folders which are going to be the most interesting for you are the setups and lab files folders. Every time you're in the sim and making some clicks on a specific car setup and then save it under a certain name, this exact setup file will show up exactly in this directory. But since the setups of the cars are different, every single car has its own setup folder inside of the setups folder. Folders everywhere, I know it sounds complicated, but it's not, it's the total opposite of it. Let me give you an example. I made some changes here on the Mercedes AMG GT3 setup and I want to save it under the name Test1. I know it's, it's not a pretty good name, but it definitely fits for my purpose. So here we go. The setup has successfully been saved. Now you want to go back to your iRacing directory, double click on iRacing, double click on setups, and then we have to search for the Mercedes AMG GT3 folder, double click that, and ta-da, this is our setup we just saved. One thing you have to know is that these files are cryptid which means that you can't change the information they contain without running the simulation again. However, you can change the name of the file itself. So when I go ahead and change the file name from test1 to test2, I know it's uh, super creative, then it will actually show up the next time I'm launching the simulation. That's great, right? Because like that, you can organize your car setups by track, season, year, weather, hour, minute, second, whatever. Before I talk about how to organize those setups, I want to address that these files work just as normal as every other file you have on your PC. Which means that, for example, if you download a setup from Pure Driving School, you can just drag it into the correct car folder on your PC. Now, one season consists of 12 weeks. And for each week, you might have one race and one quality setup. So that adds up to a total of 24 files per season and that adds up to roughly 100 a year. And now trust me, finding that one particular setup just over the course of one year might be difficult. So let me show you a very simple way that allows you to find a specific car setup you want in just a second. I am talking about creating folders per track for each individual car, which means that even if a track is used four times a year, you will have a maximum of eight files for this track in your folder. That's quite a difference to 100, isn't it? Now I understand that creating those different track folders for each individual car is very time consuming. So I prepared something for you. Down in the description below, you will find a download link for those particular road courses that are online on iRacing now. And you can drag those folders directly into your car folders Place the setups inside and you're good to go. The next time you will load into a session on iRacing, you just have to click on Garage, on Load Setup, and you will see that even iRacing displays all of those different track folders we just created before. Easy, simple, very efficient. 
and that's it. Everything you know about changing, loading, saving and organizing car setups on iRacing. I hope this helps. If it does, please make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video, subscribe for more and don't forget to maybe visit me the next time I'm racing live on twitch.tv slash link in the description down below. And as always, keep sim racing.